Hello everyone, and well welcome to Fallout 4 again, oddly enough. However, this saga of Fallout 4 is not going to be dedicated to fighting, or quests, or gunplay, or anything of that sort, really. No. This series is going to be dedicated to beautifying the wasteland. And we started with this little park here. So I chose night because you can really tell all that I've done to it so far. So we're going to go ahead and go to first person. So I'm using a variety of mods for this. Um, one of them is called Cleaning the Wasteland, I think. Or Cleaning the Commonwealth, I believe is what it's called. It allows you to um, scrap certain things. Um, just randomly in the wasteland, you can like, go up to like trash piles and press E, or to like junk cars and press E, or uh, whatnot. And that'll allow you to just basically scrap it. It'll give you some stuff in your inventory and whatnot. The other one, the main one that I'm using, is called um, Conquering Conquest, something like that. Some sort of conquering mod that allows you to um, put down workshops pretty much anywhere. Um, if you watched my previous series on it, you kind of saw part of it where I was uh, using, if we go into here, build a campsite. Try to put down a campsite, and that kind of puts down a... Uh, a campsite and allows you to build a full-on workstation to do, you know, a variety of stuff. Anyway, this park here, if we go here, is just right around here. It's now called the Lion Outpost because of what I did to uh, make it. So now it's kind of like a place I can go to. It's right next to the old church. So if you want to see what this looked like before, feel free to open up your game and go here and whatnot. So let, let's start over here where I actually began my work. So here's a dock, and I believe there was a ship parked here somewhere. And uh, I clean up a lot of the fish guts and stuff, and uh, the random scraps and whatnot. I like that debris, for example. I can get rid of that to make the water look light, nicer, and whatnot. So over here, there was a um, a super mutant, as you can see by his hounds being around here. I killed him, and uh, he had some defenses set up here. It was a car that exploded right here. I freed up all this area, pretty much, and, uh, as you can see, because there's supposed to be a wall right here where I'm standing, I can kind of see in the map, so there is a lot of game-breaking components to this mod that I'm using, but that's why I'm, uh, doing it now and whatnot, so. Also, here's the Freedom Trail right here. I cleared off some of the, uh, debris that was on here as well, make it look real nice. So yeah, I cleared out this entire little area here, pretty much as far as I could. Because um, if we hold V, it like, ends right here. I can get rid of the Freedom Trail <laughs> sidewalk and stuff, but I don't want to do that. See, I left the flag intact. Um, some of these buildings I couldn't destroy or take down. If you compare mine to yours, you'll definitely see a change in the uh, the amount of debris that's kind of just laying around here. Ooh, caps. But yeah, it's, it's a real nice improvement. And if you look on yours compared to mine right now, all these lamps, they weren't illuminated before. They were broken, I had to destroy them, or scrap them, and then replace them with new lamps. And I just think that's that's beautiful. Also get rid of all the junk that's lying around the wasteland, like uh, some of this stuff here. There was a lot more filth on the ground when I started this. Anyway, we can go down here, and uh, as you can see, we have some street lights that are lit. And that's pretty much the end of my territory here. So if we go down here, um, we can see some more. This place was uh, covered in fucking debris and junk and all that kind of garbage. Got rid of that stuff. Made it nice. Got rid of some of the stupid roads that were like all busted and whatnot. Figured might as well use, you know, dirt paths since they look a little bit better. You know, but we got the street lights up here. Just kind of chilling. And they just extend down all through here. Um, I believe right here there was a large pond of water that it let me scrap. I was surprised by that. I scrapped that, got rid of the debris on it, so I made it just like a nice little footpath here, rather than having a bunch of junk water in there. Here, we have a semi that you can open and close. Couldn't scrap this, unfortunately. Oh, maybe I can open and close it. I opened it anyway. Yeah, anyway. And then there was a uh, semi-trailer front here, just a semi that I uh, scrapped. And I scrapped some more stuff around here as well that you can probably tell if you compare, which I would recommend if you have like the game open and me in a different window, kind of go through what I'm doing and you can kind of definitely see the difference here. You're gonna notice like on these things, there's a lot less scrap and just garbage. 
and on the sides of buildings there's less stuff like some of this stuff here I know I got rid of some stuff here and whatnot but we just continue on there's another little uh, turn down here which I couldn't really scrap much on I don't think because I think I'm right at the edge of my territory yeah I am right at the edge of my territory but I couldn't scrap anything further down that way unfortunately but I did get rid of some of the vines that were covering this uh, regal looking building so it looks a lot nicer now and we can actually go down through here you can definitely tell the difference in the scrap and the garbage that was littering this alley back here but we can go around here and uh, this is the front of that building here which is this building which these stairs I don't know why they don't function properly it's stupid this is the uh, the custom house tower it's one room inside there that's like very very weird it's like covered in gore and super mutant stuff it's weird nothing inside of it a value or anything but it's, it's just there but yeah that's that alley and if we continue out and around I put a generator here just so I can power my lights you know and then uh, we come to the other edge of my territory right here so everything down that way I have not touched because I do not have the ability to go that far then we can start going back through here so my the aura of influence kind of cuts like right around here and cuts right at the tail end of this barge so it kind of gets right there that's why I couldn't scrap this wooden barrel or oh, I can scrap it in my uh, other one so yeah I can just press E to scrap and get you some parts and stuff up there which is nice and like uh, this trash here scrap scrap that's what the other mod does cleaning the wasteland I think it is or cleaning the commonwealth but yeah there were some more steps here I actually scrapped one of them not gonna lie um, so save often if you're gonna use these mods and you accidentally scrap stuff because if I go in here I actually scrap uh, these stairs these retaining walls if we go up here so yeah it's it's not that good couldn't scrap the wheelchair I can clean it up though <coughs> very nice um but yeah so I went ahead and as you can see these were the lamps looked like before some of them had vines covering them so I went ahead and just cleared them all up made it look nice and just just beautiful around here cleared some of the vines off of that one couldn't get to these I don't think they have markers on them or whatever but I kind of cleared up what I could added some extra lamps around here I got rid of the fire barrel and the corpse that was on top of this pillar and just added a nice uh nice little nice little statue nice little uh, lamp, lamp there you know I also got rid of some of the uh the sidewalks that were just kind of butter in the area like uh you can see there's a sidewalk right here that used to branch down this way I think and I got rid of that one because it just kind of looked bad and here's a little this little fountain area pretty cool and the jungle gym and then you know just the other archway leading down down here there was some more uh, pathway over there and some more pathway down there but I deleted both of those because they were like eh pretty gross looking yeah but I really wish I could do is get rid of all this stuff this fucking nasty ass as you can see I still have the retaining walls which is the stuff underneath this and I can get the sidewalks there and all that but I don't want to get rid of that stuff so yeah modern do good work I could also get rid of the saucer um, but I don't want to get rid of that I could also get rid of the jungle gym but I figured I would leave those intact for uh, you know just reasons being that they're you know here and kind of interesting type things I kind of wanted to leave as much intact that was you know part of the world as it was before I just wanted to clean it up and make it look nice so this is this is my park this is one such place I got more though they haven't been beautified yet but I do have them uh, cleaned up so if we go down here no not there um, where, where's the other one at right around here somewhere I know that was wampum. oh right down here okay the other outpost here we go By the way, those of you who watched my um, previous playthrough, the modded one, modded survival one, you'll notice just how fast that loaded compared to everything else. I actually installed a mod uh, way back that, uh, you know, fixed that issue now. So that's, that's, that's great. But yeah, this area is another one I worked on. There were some gunners here. Oh my God, you guys. I ran through this entire area and I, I probably got attacked by like a shit ton of raiders I got hit by gunners, I got hit by super mutants and ghouls. Like every possible enemy I got hit by in this area. This place is cursed. So I fucked it up. 
Yes, I did. As you can see, there's a Brahmin here. You've got a little feed trough and whatnot. But uh, if you look on your maps, you can zoom in right here. This is uh, down by the Shamrock Tap House and actually right next to Postal Square is where it would uh, take you here. You got the uh, Joe's Spunkies or whatever they're called here. And you can still really tell I'm starting to like stutter with frames and whatnot because it's it's just I've deleted so much stuff that's kind of essential because of how Fallout 4 uh, does their stuff. But yeah, I was able to get rid of some stuff here. Um, don't remember how far down my territory here goes. Okay, pretty far. So I got rid of a bunch of stuff. Get rid of that poster pop right there. Um, but yeah, I got rid of a bunch of just debris that was on the ground and sitting around here, and same with this side. I got rid of a bunch of stuff here, and down there I got rid of some stuff as well, and then over here there was some stuff on these walls that I got rid of, and that was nice, and then over here I got rid of some stuff, and as you can see I kind of fucked up some stairs here with some foundations, that's why this stuff is like, eh, if I actually go here it's like, oh god. That's what a uh, fallout looks like underneath. Yep. I got rid of some dirt here, which is you can very noticeable if you look this way. Um, if you compare it to what you guys see, it's very noticeable. Um, with all this garbage on the ground. There was a bunch of piles of trash underneath there I managed to fix up. Um, I'm not sure where this goes, but uh, ooh, I can actually destroy that retaining wall. Not going to. Not going to. Yeah, then we can go over here. Pardon the graphical issues, and this leads us back into the uh, square here, which one of the major things I cleared out is this. Look how beautiful this looks compared to like your game, like the base game. I cleared out all the garbage that was in this area, except for like, you know, the packed in dirt that you can't actually get rid of or scrap, which is unfortunate as fuck. Yeah, we'll go back this way. I can kind of show you this area. Oh, by the way. This area? You know how there was a bunch of scrap here? Well, there's not anymore. Oh, yeah. Cleared all that shit out. Made it nice and beautiful. We can go over here and, uh... I cleared out some stuff that was in this area. I think there was, like, a car and some other pieces and whatnot. But, yeah. Took care of most all of that. Which was rather nice. And then, uh, the last area would be right down here, which I cleared up. Also cleared out some of that stuff. Um, you might be able to tell. I don't remember 100% where everything was at. But, uh, then down here. Cleared out this area. Made it nice. There was some super music back there I had to fight. And whatnot. And back through here. Oh, I can get rid of the motorcycle. There we go. One more thing. I could probably go up and actually clear out a lot more stuff here. If I started scaling buildings. Um, but there was a road <laughs> that was kind of, like, right down, right down here. Uh, I may have accidentally deleted it. By total accident, by the way. Um, but yeah. Cleared all that stuff out. I can actually probably destroy... Nope, nope, no more. Okay. I was wondering if I could destroy more of the roadway, but... I guess it was just that one little part that I could do. And then I think the... Area ends up here as well, right? Yeah. So, this area here was covered in, like, larger gates. Which, as you can see, if I get right here... It's fucking up because there's supposed to be a wall right where I'm at. And it doesn't know how to uh, deal with that. But if I go back, you can see a little bit better. And then, uh, like right there. So, wall here, no wall here. So that's kind of what's going on there. But yeah, looks a lot nicer to me. At least uh, when you're not glitching through stuff. I also accidentally blew a hole in this wall. Which, oops, there's not supposed to be a wall there. So I put it in with concrete uh, just to make it look a little nicer because I'm not a dick. Uh, but yeah, that leads down to here. So that's another area that I've kind of cleared rubble from. And again, it does impact the game's performance because I think Fallout has these like super clusters of like all this trash combines with these things. So like there's one object here rather than 8 billion different ones. So if you touch one of them, that'll break apart into little objects. So I kind of fuck stuff up like that. But, uh, you know what? It's worth it to make things look nicer. There was also a huge, uh, like, retaining wall area here. I was like, you know what? Let's just get rid of that. Fuck it. Alright, moving on. Um, I keep hitting the wrong one there. I think... 
That wasn't it. No, no, no. I think I mailed a bit one. I built one more, I think. No, I built that one. Did I build any others? I did. Okay. So, we'll start with the done outpost first. Because it uh, did not go how I planned. At all. Because at first I was like, I'm going to make places that have cool bases. And, uh... I uh, ended up failing. So this is a base that I kind of half-ass made. Um, it's got a nice crafting area and all that. It's got uh, this stuff here. It's got a nice little grow bed with uh, some light coming in. I'm a bit curious where this is at. And if we go out here, we got a nice uh, nice lakefront property with some turrets. A shit ton of turrets, because I cheated them all in. Well, I guess I didn't cheat them all in. I just gave myself 10,000 of each resource so I could uh, do some good shit. But yeah, this is that dam that's uh, just south of, like, Abernathy Farm and the Wicked Shipping, and I think up here is where the, uh... Yeah, I think right there is where that, uh, Sunshine Company, um, co-op thing is at. Anyway, I was able to, usually they, oh, hey, the Rangers are back. You know what else I cheated in? A bunch of ammo. Well, I didn't cheat in ammo, I crafted it, um, and all that stuff, so. This is my pistol. I pretty much put unending modifications on all my guns, so I can go around and do this. Damn! I think that might have been my turrets firing. Also, I don't know who these people were. Stash... This guy got blown the fuck up. Um, so Stash, Alexa, and uh, the guy who is now dead. Anyway. <laughs> that guy literally turned into paste. But yeah, there was like a raider checkpoint up here, I guess. Or is that the Sunshine Company thing? That might be the Sunshine Company. Yeah. Anyway. Regardless. I'm gonna close my door here. Uh... That was there. I destroyed all that, cleared off the bridge, so it's nice and beautiful looking, as you can clearly tell here. But, the thing I was expecting to do, which was to be able to build on top of the dam, you can't do. It's not a solid object. It is... you, you cannot place on it, because it doesn't have land underneath it. It's like a... Uh, it's a fake object, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I couldn't do it. Um, so I had to build on this little island that's, like, right on the side of it. I mean, it kind of works out. I used concrete to make it look like, uh, it, it kind of fit in there, and I think that looks kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's another place that I've built. Cool. Moving on to the, the first area that I built, because I had a plan. I knew this is where I wanted to build a place at, so I was like, you know what? Let's find this place. I could not for the life of me remember where it was at, because I've only stumbled upon it like twice in all my Fallout 4, 4 playthroughs. It is the Everett Estates. I think that's right, yeah, right. The West Everett Estates, yep, right here by the Irish Pride Industrial Shipyards. It's overran by um, Super Mutants. Are things firing, or am I hearing shit? Or is it just all the fucking spotlights going on? Whatever. Anyway, so this place is one that I wanted to build a fucking settlement in for a while. In fact, you should be able to build a settlement here in the base game, but apparently they're just like, nah, fuck you. We're not gonna let you do that. So it's very similar to, like, Sanctuary and the fact that it has all these sanctuary houses. Um, I fucked up and kind of scrapped this one here. That's why you're seeing some of the glitching stuff there. And if I go down here, it happens even worse. I kind of filled out as much as I could here to prevent it from doing too much. Um, but yeah. So, Super Mutants were here. I killed them all. I left most of their wall intact. Like uh, the big semi here to kind of be like a normal wall. I put turrets around the outside to make it look nice. Left this wall here. You know... 
Um, if we go down here, it's like, this is the weakest wall. It's like, people can just literally jump it. I can also scrap that by pressing E. I don't want to do that, though. I'm going to clean that up, though. That, too. That. See, I couldn't scrap these normally. Because, like, uh, if we go here, for example, look at that. Oh, I can't scrap that. Okay, never mind. Huh. Neat. Can I scrap these now? No. And it was also this down here, the backyard bunker, which uh, has stuff in it, but... We'll just ignore that for now. I haven't done anything on the insides. Um, oh, I can clean that up now? Fuck yeah. God, yes. I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, and the TVs I can scrap. Oh, that's beautiful. I can literally get rid of all of this fucking meaty, meaty garbage. The blood will still be on the floors, but you know what? I am... I keep hearing stuff. I am okay with that. The blood can stay on the floors. To, uh, basically say, hey... Mutants were here, but we overcame, we destroyed them, we murdered them. The one thing about... Fuck. The one thing about this mod, though, is if you do build a settlement where things are known to spawn, um, they may, in fact, respawn there. So be careful with that. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we have a, a bunch of stuff built here. I'm gonna clear up that gore pole since it's just kind of floating there. Same with uh, the cages, if I can get those. Nope, okay. But yeah, I built a, built a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up, clean that up, clean that up. Sorry, it's it's just my, my OCD dealing right now. I'm gonna clear that TV too. So I kind of planted this area, made some uh, water here in this area as well. Give myself a nice little, you know, little place to, to build things. Oops, that one. That one. Look, if I see it, I'm gonna clean it, okay? Oh, hey, look, our little uh, Red Roach buddies have reappeared. Put some beds in here. You know, that's good. Also, there was, uh... Oh. So I dragged these bodies over here to this gore pile. Um... It looked like they moved back to their original place. For whatever reason. So, uh... Yeah, there's that. Um... This place, here's that. And then there's this, uh... Start freaking out. There's also this one over here, which I reinforced this defensive area with this thing here rather than a normal uh, thing I had before. Uh, fuck, what, what are they called? Um, sand bags, sandbag barrier before. Whereas now they don't have that. So, also, I destroyed one telephone pole over there. You can kind of see uh, right over there where those things are just kind of hanging from nothing. I destroyed one not realizing that, oh, hey, the lines, I can't scrap them, and the, I can't scrap that fucking cage thing there, so... Fuck me, right? Good shit. Yeah. And then uh, I put up a wall here, rather than... I think there was just like a like a tire wall there, with a tire wall over on this side. It was an easily jumpable thing. I decided to fix by putting just normal concrete walls. And then, uh, this is about where the edge of my building area goes, so... I did manage to clean up quite a bit of this area and make it look, uh... Pretty nice. Let me get rid of that gore pole. Let's just, let's just do that real quick. I'm, I'm sorry. I know y'all will probably want to care more about, like, other stuff and not the gore poles, but god damn it, the gore poles piss me off, okay? Okay. Excellent. So I think that's everything here. For the time being. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, there was... God, those are still fucking there. I crafted those and I just dropped them because I was like, eh, I don't want these. But yeah. So that's everything that I've built so far. Now, I can build other places. And I have a couple more. I think this is like a max amount you can actually build. And whatnot, but uh... That doesn't matter at the moment. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to at the moment. So, if I do have any others... Um, where I do rebuild part of the wasteland. And there will be, trust me, if I find places that are like, this is disgusting, but it could be really great. Like the park? The park was great. I did not expect to um, find that park there and be like, you know what, I'm gonna rebuild this. I, uh, I kind of walked past it at first, but I was like, you know what, this would be a great opportunity to actually build um, around this area. So that's what I did. And let's clean that up. Can I clean up this? No. Lame. Anyway. Yeah, 
So that's what I've been up to with Fallout 4 recently. So let me, you may recall, a while ago, I had a, a Twitter message that said, really in the cleaning aspect of Fallout 4, getting mods to do that. And this is what I've been doing with it. <laughs> yes, it is beautiful. Incidentally, I'm curious, is there anything up inside this water tower? No. In fact, it breaks the game if you get up here. Okay. I was curious, because it had holes in it, you know. I think up top top? No. That's too bad. Well, I think I can scrap these gore bags from up here, though, can't I? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. How the super mutants get them up here in the first place is beyond me. But you know what? Fuck it. They're mine now. I do like some of the uh, super mutant stuff, like these spike things. I wish I could like build these, like I just put them like in front of like barriers and stuff. You know, I feel like that'd be really, really swell. You can also scrap some of this stuff, and there's like these little um, metal bolts that you can scrap on these things, which is interesting. Really weird, like how many different parts go into like a certain aspect of something. In this game, you know, like, um, I should probably get, just get rid of this truck part, right? But yeah, let's go and get rid of that since I mean, no one can just sneak under here now, but you know what? It looks better this way. And honestly, if we really want to solve that problem, get a wall, and we're gonna go ahead and just build that wall there. There we go. Problem solved. I'm a problem solver, y'all. It's great. Anyway. We'll go ahead and toggle collision again. And we're back on the ground. All right. Well, that's all for my uh, my cleanup so far, everyone. I hope you thought this was kind of interesting. I mean, after you go around killing everyone for like the hundredth time in Fallout, sometimes you gotta just you gotta just do something else. So I decided to be a janitor and clean the wasteland one settlement at a fucking time because God damn it. I wanted to. So yeah. So I'm using my uh, my powers of being able to mod and not give a fuck about my game to do just that. So next time I find an interesting place, or a couple places I guess, um, since it'll really be just me fixing it up and then kind of showing you guys, I'll do another one. If I find one at all. This might just be a one-off, who knows. We'll uh, see how it goes. I wasn't expecting to turn this into a video, but I figured, you know what, I put in some work. I was really proud of that first one. And uh, I figured, hey, let's uh, let's go ahead and, you know, show it off. I don't know. And Alexa just talked because I said, and let's, and that sounded too much like Alexa, apparently. But yeah, I'll let y'all go for now. Um, again, the mods, let me actually pull them up here so I can tell you exactly what they're called, rather than having y'all kind of, uh, Google... And that way, we're more efficient. This particular modded session has 67 mods on it. You don't want to know most of them. Alright, the ones I'm using is Commonwealth Cleanup. Um, GKX Commonwealth Cleanup DLC version. Uh, basically, that's the one that allows you to, while just roaming around anywhere in the wasteland, um, they made like 130,000 different pieces of things that can be like scrapped like cars or crates or barrels or just trash on the ground that kind of stuff and from that you will get like uh, stuff like you will get materials I think I got like bullets I've gotten um, nitro not nitro um, liquid nitrogen injectors that kind of stuff from the scrap it's very easy to get overweight when you pick all that stuff up so be aware of that and the other one that I was using is conquest Build new settlements and camping. Conquest 1.3 release. Yeah, so that's the other one. And uh, that's the one that lets you actually build settlements and scrap everything. Well, not everything. It lets you scrap normal stuff. The thing that lets you scrap everything is a couple of mods that I also have installed called Scrap Everything and Scrap Dead Things. Those two are the other mods that I have that uh, allow you to clean stuff in addition to spring cleaning. So basically, I have like 30, 
Not 30. I've got like five mods. Five of them. That allow me to clean stuff up. Spring cleaning. Scrap everything. Scrap dead things. Conquest. And Commonwealth cleanup. And basically those are just allowing me to go around cleaning the wasteland one place at a time, making it fit for human eyes. And uh, there's also a mod I was thinking about getting where uh, it would just make things look cleaner where people are at, where populated places are, like in Diamond City or houses where, you know, you'd think people would actually give a damn and pick up a broom and sweep their stuff up rather than having junk lying all over the place, you know, like this. But, uh, yeah. There's always one thing that's bothered me up the fallouts. There's, like, dirt piled up just on the ground everywhere in settlements. Inside houses, mind you. Like, I can understand, like, giving it a dirty look. Because no one's going to care about cleaning, keeping it clean all the time. But, like, having piles of trash in your house, that's not cool. That's, that's something that no one would fucking do, right? I feel like they would at least try to keep things clean in their own home. But yeah, anyway. Um, I'm going to end things here before I go on a rant for any more time here. So, thank you all again for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video or something. Until then, bye now.